Future stars are now in packs, but we've actually got a chance to add a team of the year icon to our squad. That's right, in the gameplay behind me, you can see a couple of things that I did off camera. We got the final level of the season progress for the milestones there in objectives and managed to get the final pack there where you get a player from each position to go into your squad, which is a pretty cool concept for a pack, but the results of it weren't great. And then after that, we managed to complete the Shabby Alonso Team of the Year Icon SBC, so that you can see him coming out now, and he's going to be joining our club and making that midfield very solid. As I said, future stars are now in packs, and we've actually got some rewards from our uh, division rivals. We've got two mega packs here, two prime gold player packs as well, do we go for that or do we go for the coins this time around? We're going to go for the rare mega packs. Let's see what we can get from these rewards. Can we get ourselves a future star? Oh, Division 4 Season 3 as well. We get a cheeky reward here, a Prime Gold Players Pack. Nice. And we've been put back into Division 6, for God's sake. I'm not doing Foot Champions this weekend because as of recording this, the Premier League was on hiatus for the FA Cup. So there's no Premier League players in the team of the week. And they're the ones that fit best with Mason Mount. So I'm going to have a weekend off. But we did make some pretty big sales, including Saka recently you're going to see what team I've managed to build as a result. It's worth the wait. I think I have found one of the best centre-backs in the game. Before we take a look at the team though, we've got all of these packs ready to go. Can we get ourselves a future star? We opened 150 packs for team of the year and got nothing. So if we get a future star out of five packs, I'll be somewhat cheesed off if I'm honest. Prime gold players pack then is the first one up. Do we manage to get anything? We get at least a board. It is gold Spain centre-back. It is Sergio Ramos, 84, we'll take it. Not a horrific pack, to be fair. Another Prime Gold Players pack gets us nothing. The final Prime Gold Players pack is at least a board. Italian centre-back, it is Chiellini, another 84. Now the rare Mega Packs. Every single card in this is going to be rare. This one is only a board. It's Spanish centre-back. It is it's Ramos again, for God's sake. Two 83s and an 84 that we already have. The players that we've just got as duplicates, we're chucking into this Manchester United SBC to get... Um, it is player of the month, Marcus Rashford. And from the final rare mega pack, what can we get from this? Please give us something decent. It's a board at least. Oh my God, that's bad, man. Oh, here a decky. We have got a preview pack, of course. Everyone should do their preview pack each and every day. And this one is not worth it. So I need an 86 squad and an 85 squad for this Marcus Rashford. I've got a bit of time to do him, I believe. I think he's around for a little while. 33 days. Him and Hugo Sanchez are the two people we're working towards. And to be able to do any SBCs, we need fodder. So I'm looking at all of the objectives right now to see which ones are going to be the easiest to do. I'm probably going to do this Lindstrom stuff off camera though. It doesn't look like mo the most entertaining thing in the world. But it's all about using Danish players. We've got Ericsson, of course. We've got special Ericsson we can use. So yeah, we'll, we'll give that a go. But arguably, we need to do draft really. I think that's something we're going to have to do soon. I mean, if I complete the uh, 80 plus upgrade two more times, I'll get an 81 plus 11 players pack. So we'll do that now. Someone put on a Twitter the other day. I can't remember which uh, streamer or YouTuber it was. But apparently, it is 10 times easier to do these on the web app on the computer. Let me know if you've got any experience of that. Because it takes me ages to do these SBCs otherwise. Okay, we've now done the 80 plus upgrade 60 times which is mental when you really think about it but it gets this pretty cool pack so let's do it so i'll open both of these 80 plus rated rare gold players first and see what we managed to get from it not a board in the first one and the second one is also not a board so that was almost not worth doing both of them were duplicate untradeables as well great we do have the 81 plus 11 players pack though let's see what we can get from this 11 players all over 81 rated we get at least a board it's not really what we were looking for though in fact, an 85 really isn't what we're looking for. Oh, I wanted to get like 86, 87 rated cards really to help me with SBCs, but no, it is what it is. Other than that, the best thing for me really to do is go into Division Rivals and play some games. And here is the team we are currently using. We've got the brand new Shabby Alonso coming in at CDM. So far, only played two games with him. He's already got one assist. Uh, we've got Brolin ahead of him, who is arguably my favourite card to use right now. Uh, that is 48 goal contributions across 42 games. 
Um, we've got this Odegaard, which we did recently. Only played three games with him so far, but he's got four goal contributions in those games. Kante is brilliant at the CDM role. Politano up top. Used him quite a bit now. We've got uh, 70 goal contributions in 56 games on him. Mason Mount, of course. We've used him 197 times. Can we get that up to 200 today? Let's see. 125 goals and 116 assists for him. He's an absolute goat. Uh, and Ricardo Carvalho. I've now played three games with this guy. He is incredible. I love this card. I think, personally, this might be my favourite card at centre-back in this game. 100% worth trying if you've got a Premier League squad. We've got Baragi at left-back and Benucci as our centre-back there. Trippier at right-back. And then we've got Martinez, Team of the Year, honourable mention in goal. Very happy with him. So let's jump into rivals and see how we do with these guys. Now the issue with doing this right now is we can come up against some insane teams. And that's exactly what is happening here. For God's sake. This guy's got an incredible squad because everyone gets put down to at least Div 6 I believe. So we're playing against people that have played at a much higher level than us. Let's put it that way. We just got our lonely little RTG here getting absolutely stomped. Oh, he's already in. Like, I, I think this is going to be a very long day for me. Oh, that's a great ball over the top. And it's Mason Mount on the end of it. Mason Mount puts us 1-0 up. Let's go. We should not be winning against this guy. He's a better player than me, and he's got a much better team. But one ball over the top from Politano into the main man himself, Mason Mount, getting us this goal. Come on. No, let's not do that, Mbappe. Go away. Oh, God. No. oh, you're joking me. How has that fallen to him? That is disgusting. Just I uh, three players stood around the ball. None of them kicked it away. Oh, what? How has that ball got through? I've had this before. Where you've got someone who's like deep right mid position. They play one through ball and it takes out your whole team. Here's Brolin. Can he score it? Brolin! Oh, it's just gone wide. Oh, he scored again. Oh, to be fair, most of this isn't really down to him being better than me, if that makes any sense. I would say a large part of this is solely because his cards have got better stats than mine. The RNG has been ridiculous. Stuff like that, where I've gone in for a tackle with him and the ball's just bounced off me. And now Benucci is doing fake shots in the middle of his own box. Oh, lovely ball. Lovely ball. Politano took about three years to kick the ball at the goal there. Oh, what? What are you doing back heel there for? <laughs> That's my fault. I'm not going to lie. Blokes pause the game for me. I don't take that very... I don't know. I'm not happy with that one. I've got all day, mate. I'll get humiliated. It doesn't bother me. Oh, that is a lovely bit of football. That was a lovely bit of football. The passing move there was sublime. Now, see, the Mbappe is broken. I can't get the ball off him. Like, what was I meant to do? There's that ball. There's that ball. We're talking about it. From the right-hand side, one through ball through to the striker and we've scored. Now we just need to do it three more times. Oh, lovely ball. Macy Mount, finish it, Odegaard, please. Oh, you're kidding me. Odegaard, down the right-hand side here. It's got to be a sweaty goal, surely. How has, he, how has he not scored the first one? He scored the second one, though. We've got five minutes to get an equaliser. Yeah, he's playing silly buggers. He's just trying to run the clock down, passing the ball around the back, booting it long to an offside player. Like, yeah, just trying to run the clock down. Very annoying. How is it only one minute added time, by the way? Chance of an equaliser here. Oh, my God, I fluffed it. I have fluffed it. I now deserve to lose this game. I deserve that. Jesus Christ, that was so stupid. We lose the game 5-4, but I would argue we did all right there. As I said, there's a lot of players that would arguably be in like Div 2, Div 1. I'm a Div 4 player, and I'm a Div 4 player at my best. If you came on here looking for pro tips, guys, click off the video. If you came to see someone occasionally rage and it be quite funny, then you're in the right place. And considering you're in the right place, why not like the video and also hit the subscribe button? We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Yeah, this guy's team is uh, interesting. But yeah, please do help me get that goal. 1,000 subscribers. That's the dream. What a pathetic life dream for a 30-year-old man. Mason Mount into Odegaard. Lovely stuff. 1-0 up already. Odegaard's been surprisingly good, by the way. I'm enjoying him. If we do manage to do the Marcus Rashford SBC, I think I'll end up putting him up front, taking Politano out, 
and then we'll be looking for a new centre back and a new left back from the Premier League. Or if we can fit them in another way, we can do. But yeah, we're going to need. To, oh my God. How's Haaland scored that? But yeah, as much as I like having a bit of a different side that has lots of different links in it, sometimes you just need to go back to basics. And Politano sometimes is good, sometimes isn't. I'm a little bit hit and miss on him, if I'm honest. He's quit. Why? Why would you quit? Next guy's team looks like this. Quite an interesting one. In fact, that uh, German West Ham centre-back, Kera, we could get him. He could be quite good for us. We will scout him out today. Mason Mount from the edge. That's not a bad strike at all. Oh, lovely ball through. Politano, he just doesn't finish it. I feel like he gets in really good positions, but I never seem to score with him. I can't believe you've missed that. How has he missed that? Politano outside to Shabby Alonso. Cuts in on his right foot. Chance has gone again. No, Dal Piero's in. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. He should have scored that. Ooh, okay. I thought he was offside. Apparently not, but it's Mason Mount yet again. I'm not going to lie. I was sat there completely not commentating for a good 10 minutes then. But I think I wasn't commentating because... Not a lot's really happened, if I'm honest. I feel like when you play against like the better players, games can be dull. Is that the word? Because there's less openings, there's less chances for chances on, on target. You know, you don't get many goal-scoring opportunities. So, overall, the actual like gameplay is kind of stale because it's just, it's just sweaty, isn't it? We're through with Politano here. Politano has put it wide. I can't help but think if I had a better striker, they might score that. We're holding on here. It is literally the last few minutes. It has been a sweaty game, to say the least. Zaha, you're doing the absolute... Oh, what is that? Run, Zaha, run! Keep this ball at this end of the pitch. That's all we need to do now. Can he even get a little Brucey bonus for himself? He can't, but when this gets cleared, it will be game over. Happy days. A 1-0 win against the team. We really should be beaten by more than that. Trophy, the chosen one. Reached 200 club appearances with a player in FIFA Ultimate Team. Is that... Have we just done that with Macy Mount? We have indeed. A round of applause for Mason Mount. He has played 200 games for the club. He has got 245, I believe. Uh, goal or assists in those games that is a massive return and in playing those few games we did get a, a decent amount of progress in the season progress we managed to get an 80 plus rated goal player that's what we're going to end on today imagine the absolute scenes if we got a future stars player here okay we don't but it's at least a board it is brazilian cdm it is fernando okay not really worth that's it for today's video guys if you have enjoyed please hit a massive thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>